Get ready for a fresh combination of the most breathtaking camera captured moments. Stick around until the end and you won't be disappointed. So let's get started. This is when the derailments happen at the intersection of Exposition Avenue and Sabum Boulevard. I hope everyone is fine. In Moore, Oklahoma, a dash cam captured the moments when the two carriages fell off the rails. Nobody was hurt in the incident. It was caused by a mechanical failure. The driver did not comply with the officer's commands and collided with a police car in a stolen truck. They were apprehended shortly after. A truck's failure to notice an upcoming Toyota pickup resulted in a collision in Bondsville. I'm glad no one was injured. Oh. Who is wrong in this case? Let me know in the comments below. Hello, I'm to NBC News oh no, he didn't even let the guy in front of him turn left first. It's better for them to yield to one another. What's wrong with him? Have a bad day or drunk? No, oh no, my, no. maybe he drives white exit. Which is at least $10,000. Be careful, guys. You can see a coach and a lorry swerve to avoid a stopped car on a busy motorway. Avoid stopping on motorways unless absolutely necessary. Wow, can't believe how lucky he was. He exits a tunnel just seconds before a Getty concrete beams comes crashing down on the road. On I-275, this white pickup truck collided with the rear of another vehicle, causing the tire to roll onto the road. Fortunately, there were no injuries. A van in the middle lane attempted to change into the third lane, when the driver of a black Vauxhall Astra in that lane appears not to let the van in front of it. In Banff, a car and trailer went round the bend and this happened. I really can't see why. Slow speed, mild bend, he avoided a sunken manhole in the road. Maybe the tires on the car were not at their best. I hope customers realize how difficult it is to drive on IC driving. He tried his best to deliver the package. It's just that sometimes adverse weather conditions occur. Oh, it is better if oh, you reverse and turns in wheel slowly. Oh, Avoid spinning your tires excessively <laughs> as it can dig you in deeper. Oh, 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 there you go, there you go, there you go. You got it, you got it, you got it. Come on. No. Uh, maybe not. Well, an SUV made an illegal U-turn in front of the motorcycle. Luckily, he was okay. Oops! Plowing through a tumbleweed on a motorcycle can be very risky. I bet he'll be picking tons out of his bed for the next few days. An unbalanced truck leans towards its right side on a street in Manhattan. Thankfully, nothing happened. Well, a truck blocking a green light is forced to drive over the cop to maneuver around vehicles. A truck driving along a northern Ontario highway nearly misses a head-on crash. In your opinion, who is at fault in this case? Let me know in the comments. This blue Mitsubishi forward moved across the right lane, but luckily they avoided collision. This happened after Stop Road and Hifting Road Junction, before entering M1 toward Melbourne City. A really reckless driver. Oh, this BMW clearly thought the barrier should have stayed up for him. Wow, the earthquake shaking is frightful in California. Wow. 
Wow, this is the tornado that swept through Ontario. No, it might be unsafe to overload a vehicle with the extra weight. Wow, that's impressive how millions of tumbleweeds can make roads almost undrivable. A white Toyota SUV slowly traveling along the narrow path was nearly pushed into a river during a sudden rock slide. Well, owners of sports cars with low ground clearance should exercise caution and avoid rough terrains. No, this happened in Greece, which endures torrential storms after wind fires. This is 150 miles per hour winds and flooding ripping through Florida. Uh oh. 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 Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, that's about down. to be on us. There it goes. Who is at fault in this situation? Share your opinion in the comments. We normally don't let folks out who are planning to turn in the opposite direction, but make an exception if they are going to be traveling in the same direction. <gasps> you would assume they'll stay in the same lane, but not in this case. What should I do? They're fine. They're fine? Yeah. This is an incident involving two trucks on the M3 northbound at Junction 2. I think the white truck should have immediately ceased its attempt to merge upon hearing the horn from the other truck. Luckily, no one was hurt. Experiencing a tire blowout while driving can be a frightening situation. Avoid slamming on the brakes as this can cause the vehicle to slide. Instead, gently ease off the accelerator. Slow down well below the posted speed limit to maintain better control of your vehicle. Stick to your lane and avoid a broad lane. If you must stop on a hill, try to pull over to a safe or level area if possible. Avoid parking where your vehicle could slip downhill. Absolutely. Paying attention when driving is very crucial for your safety and the safety of others on the road. Luckily, no one was hurt. These moments can be quite remarkable and serve as a reminder of the complexity of handling various situations on the road. Slow down significantly when driving on rough or slippery roads. Reduced speed gives you more time to react to unexpected situations. Oh my god, this is the shocking moment a durian fruit fell from a speeding truck hitting the car behind and nearly causing an incident on the highway. Thankfully no one was hurt. <laughs> this truly happens a lot of times. Four-wheelers are sometimes so preoccupied with their phone. What's going on in their marriage? Or why couldn't they see the vehicles? Luckily, everyone was fine. It looks like the driver was trying to apply the brakes at the same time as the accelerator. You can see the brake lights go on and off. In Victoria, 
Security cameras recorded when the driver of a car entered an avenue. A white vehicle which was on the road was unable to avoid it and lost control in the process. Luckily, no one was injured. Oh no! Slow down as you approach an intersection, whether controlled or uncontrolled. Be prepared to stop if necessary. This is a collision on Price Street in Birkhead involving two cars. Merseyside police described it as a road traffic with only vehicle damage. Fortunately, no injuries were reported. The scenario where a car makes an illegal turn and gets hit by a semi-truck highlights the danger of disregarding traffic laws and making unsafe maneuvers on the road. Please do not imitate this. This is the shocking moment six cars had a rare end incident when the vehicle in front suddenly stopped on the road in Thailand. It triggered a domino collision. A rare end collision can result in significant damage to vehicles, and sometimes the cost of repairs may exceed the value of the car. Just report the collision to the police or relevant authorities. They will document the incident, which may be necessary for insurance claims. The footage recorded a segment of the 5 freeway in Kastiak near Hasni Canyon, where numerous vehicles were observed losing control due to the treacherous driving conditions. Oh. A semi truck re ended a car, causing it to veer into an adjacent lane in front of a concrete truck. Always keep a safe following distance behind the vehicle in front of you, especially when driving near large trucks. If you have the necessary tools and feel confident, change the flat tire with your spare. If not, call for roadside assistance. Turn on your hazard lights to alert other drivers to your situation. Remember, incidents can be stressful, but it's essential to prioritize safety. Just follow the law and handle the situation responsibly. That was a close call. It's crucial to prioritize safety for yourself and others while driving. As you can see, the driver was driving along this route when their vehicle was struck by the red car approaching from the right side of the T-junction. Incidents like this occur quite frequently when driving. A driver attempted to bypass the gridlock traffic by driving onto the median. However, in this audacious maneuver, the driver ended up getting the midsection of their car lodged onto the top of a rock. Do not imitate this. While trying to get out of a snowy parking lot, this driver drove his car up onto a mode of snow, which then led to his car engine spontaneously bursting into flames. There was an accident on the riverside in Ivan. It was evident that neither of the two drivers heeded the right of way to the other. Luckily, no one was hurt. This car was driving at a high speed behind the trailer when suddenly the driver lost control and re-ended the trailer. The impact was so unexpected and forceful that the trailer veered off the road. Thankfully, no one was injured. On a busy road, a sedan tried to overtake the car in front, and he was struck by a semi-truck coming from behind. The truck collided with the car and kept on driving ahead. 
Fortunately, nobody was hurt. While this individual was driving, a sudden car caught across the road in front of them. They ended up running straight into a gas station. Fortunately, despite the frightening situation, both the driver and the passengers emerged unharmed. While driving on a rugged road in New Jersey City, the truck encountered a potentially hazardous sinkhole, causing it to jolt severely. The force of this impact was so significant that the truck left a substantial hole in the road behind it. The driver of this car found themselves trapped in the middle of the train tracks with no means to escape. Helpless, they could only watch from the sideline as the train approached. This individual left their car door open but inadvertently forgot to close it. When they began to reverse the car, they unintentionally slammed the open car door against a concrete wall. It's truly baffling how he managed to drive a car on the street without wheels. Please don't do that. This driver lost control of their car as it was on a hill, but fortunately rolled downhill and struck a pole. Thankfully, the driver was outside when the vehicle crashed and nobody got hurt. Oh no! Looking before turning or changing lanes should be as automatic as briefing. I just don't get how people forget to do this. Wow! While the majority of the cars skillfully navigated the icy conditions without any incident, one unfortunate vehicle lost traction on the slippery surface, leading to a collision with another car. In a reckless attempt to overtake two vehicles on the highway, the speeding car made hasty lane changes without even considering the distance between the cars. Luckily, no one was hurt. Do not imitate this. Be careful and pay attention. Thankfully, all of them were safe. Oops! It's the fact that incidents at traffic intersections are quite common occurrences. Fortunately, no one was hurt. It appeared the reckless truck driver lost control while careening through the town. The truck collided with the van in a shocking impact before speeding away. But do not worry, nobody was injured. A driver in a truck grappling with the loss of control on the rain-soaked road collided with the guardrail. I was glad he was fine. Oh, this car was aggressively attempting to overtake other vehicles at high speed. Then out of nowhere, the driver lost control of the vehicle. Do not imitate this. This driver was driving his car on an icy road when suddenly the car in front of him lost control and spun after sleeping. That guy's about to spin out! <laughs> Thankfully, he was able to make a sharp turn and avoid a car smash. We almost got in a car accident. Absolutely. Driving on snowy roads like this demands utmost caution, so it's vital to drive carefully. Oh no! He lost control but fortunately managed to avoid a collision. Remember, your safety and the safety of others on the road should always be a top priority. A speeding pickup truck suddenly slams his brake, losing control in a harrowing moment, but at least he avoided colliding with anyone. No, the low clearance is well marked with signs and warning signs, but this bus driver was not paying enough attention and had the AC of his bus ripped. Oh 
Yeah. The truck tire exploded on the highway. Fortunately, the truck driver could hear of what had happened and he braked in the control manner and pulled off onto the shoulder. A giant wire spool fell off the back of a truck on Pennsylvania Highway and started to roll down the highway. Luckily, no cars collided. Wow, that was so close. Luckily, the driver was okay. What a nightmare. The simple thing is to keep your distance in this situation. This guy was at the stoplight and watched that storm cause strong winds and heavy rain. He then saw a semi truck get knocked over by the wind and fall on top of another car nearby. Oh. Holy! Luckily, everyone was fine after the incident. Oh my god! A huge flash flood on the Highway 87 near O'Donnell, Texas has left a large truck and several other motorists truck partially submerged in gushing rainwater. Luckily, they were safe. This truck driver is trying to avoid squishing the red car when he shockingly changed lane out of nowhere. To avoid the red car, the truck driver unfortunately strikes the BMW in its blind spot. Who is at fault? Let me know in the comments. No, the silver car just rolls out in front, causing the calm car to swerve to avoid an incident. The driver was not just aware of his surroundings. This hard stopping dash cam footage captures a reckless driver swerving across three lanes of a busy motorway to make the exit slip road. A black Audi A3 overtook in the outside lane, but seconds later he suddenly swerved left. Well, people who put themselves in situations where they become stuck on the tracks amaze me. Holy Hope the driver is safe. Whoa, my she was busy looking at her phone while driving and didn't see the car in front. The driver merged onto a dual carriageway and slammed her brakes on, causing the car behind to go into her and traffic on the carriageway to swerve around her. I have no idea why that person would do such a thing. It was such a rough acceleration too. At least no one was injured. Maintaining a safe distance is crucial on the road. Use the three second rule as a guideline to ensure you have enough reaction time. Maybe the front car's negligence in checking the rear view mirror or the rear car's failure to maintain a safe following distance. Who do you think is wrong in this situation? A box truck unsuccessfully navigates its own, leading to a collision with another vehicle. Remember, exercise caution when turning, diligence in maneuvering can prevent such incidents. Well, at least this was a minor collision and no one was injured. Well, I think he was trying to avoid the car in the turn lane at the lights, but he went over the curb and collided with the traffic lights. This is the situation the semi truck spins out on the M5 motorway in Sydney, Australia. The cause of the loss of control remains an enigma. 
But do not worry, the driver was okay. It's crucial for all drivers, especially large vehicles like trucks, to adjust their speed according to the weather conditions to ensure safety on the road. Wow, he can fill the car well. Glad they're okay. The astonishing collisions, all on black ice during the cold snap. A van smashed into the fence, then a car smashed into a hedge. Thankfully, no one was injured. Who is wrong? Let me know your opinion in the comments. Oh dear, remain cool and change lanes gradually, bro. He took the corner too fast. Slow down, man. Ensure that the vehicle is not overloaded beyond its specified capacity. Overloading can exacerbate issues related to uneven weight distribution. <laughs> I first thought he was not the guy for the job. Mate, this is careless. Man, stay in your lane. This driver totally ignores railroad crossing signals. In Vermont, NPR's Sam Sanders says the senator. If you don't want an instant camera, never do this. In Vermont. This incident happened on April 6, 2018. But the driver is fine. A white SUV was attempting to take the exit of the loop of 151 to get onto Sowell Lane. Then he lost control and traveled through the ditch, striking the guardrail. Hopefully, the driver will be able to claim insurance. When a vehicle travels around the curve, centrifugal force pulls it outwards. Slowing down helps to counteract this force, preventing the vehicle from veering off the road. He didn't get the curve and rolled over. <sighs> Luckily, the guy nearby immediately rushed to help him. Well, just another day with a guy not having a clue how to drive on a roundabout. Well, at least he didn't smash anyone. The Fort Seat County Sheriff's Office received a shoplifting call at a local Walmart. After attempting to flee, the suspect was finally apprehended. Oh, folks, before you all move, please remove the eyes from your vehicle. I'll say, as a driver, you just don't need to drive into a ton loaded at speed. The man had a dash cam that hopped out, but everyone was fine and there was no injuries. Police and emergency services were there within minutes. 
This is a head-on collision between Ford F-150 and the Honda Civic. It's a bit difficult to determine who is incorrect in this situation. This white Ferrari passes vehicle at 100 miles per hour by the time police car pulls him over. Instant camera. Mates, don't overtake on curves and heels. Oops, the driver must have not been paying attention. The car in front hit their brakes and the car behind must have been following too close. <laughs> Who needs wheels? No, the driver behind him honked the horn to one, but he sped up and ran away. Do not imitate this. Tumble winds can pose unexpected road hazards. As you can see, they shot down the road in Washington state. Well, he apparently massively misjudged the width of the alleyway in relation to the width of his high-end car. Always drive cautiously in snowy conditions, everyone. Well, maintaining a safe following distance is essential for avoiding close calls. And here we are at the finish line. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this ride and tell us about your unusual situations on the road in the comments. And don't miss the video on the right side of your screen. See you soon.